Well, as we've been talking about all morning, today is a really big day across North America. It is that rare total solar eclipse that we've been talking about. So this is when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, completely blocking out that star. In some areas, this will lead to about four minutes of total darkness in the middle of the day, and it's not going to happen in the U.S. again until August of 2044. So here's a look at that path of totality. It's going to start with Mexico's Pacific Coast, then continue across Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas into Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Indiana, and continue northeast into I uh, um, excuse me, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Then it crosses into Canada and it ends on the Atlantic coast of Newfoundland. And our meteorologist Chris Bianchi has possibly one of the best seats in the house for the event. Joining us live on Lake Norfolk, Arkansas, along the path of totality. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, and we got a lot of noise around us, so hence the uh, the big kind of uh, earmuffs here. But on the positive side, we are about three and a half hours away from the totality here on Lake Norfolk. I'm in the north central part of Arkansas, and again, we're going to be in the path of totality coming up in just a couple of hours. And also, excitingly, we're going to kind of move this shot a little down towards the lake that you can see behind me. So we're going to have this just pristine view coming up in a couple of hours. So as soon as we're done here, we're going to move down to this lake get kind of set up there and have the pristine view. And by the way, for all our viewers out there, we're going to show you what we're seeing down Unfortunately, this is going to happen when you have so many people in a couple minutes to check out that eclipse as technology freezes every yeah. now and then, of course, as everybody is trying to uh, get that perfect shot of it, too. So this is a really cool moment for our Chris Bianchi. I think we have him back now. Chris, I got to ask, talking about all the people that are trying to get, you know, a, a look at the eclipse today. What was traffic like for you guys? What are you seeing right now around you? Yeah, hence these. Um, but there certainly was some traffic. We're noticing a lot of traffic here this morning. We got in at about 1.15 a.m. last night, so last night we didn't see a ton, but honestly, uh, the advice from a lot of the locals that we're he hearing and seeing here is just kind of get here early, stay put, and leave late. So um, we're planning on just kind of moving down towards the lake, but we're not going to really move around a whole lot aside from that. That's what local authorities are telling people to do, and I think that's going to be probably the best advice for those of you that might be anywhere in the path of totality is just kind of stay put, don't move around a ton and kind of leave late if you can. Get your good stakeout spot, Chris. Are you, is there something you're most excited about to experience today being in the path of the full totality? Because we only get 65% or so here in Colorado. Yeah, so being in the path of totality, uh, my best friend is actually just behind this camera. <laughs> He's the one who really influenced me on this a lot. And he told me that he got... Well, I guess we'll never know what his friend wanted to say. Darn. Right? Dang it. That's a, such, a, such a cliffhanger from Chris Bianchi. We do uh, want to say if you watch 9 News at noon, you're going to get Chris live. Hopefully the, the shot works and all of that. But when the full I eclipse happens. I think this happens. is a great <laughs> shot of him right now. Really beautiful we shot. We love you, Chris. Chris, thank you so much. Hopefully our technology works a little bit later <laughs> and a little bit better. Thank you very much.